Hi there, happy Friday. I'm so glad you're still with us for the second half of Colorado and Company. I'm Denise Plant. Dream big. Those are two simple words that are helping to change the world. Starting with CU Boulder graduate, Avery Bang. Nice to see you. It's a pleasure. Well, you have a lot on your hands. Your degree is a geotechnical engineer. So why did you decide to go that route in the engineering world? Um, I had a really pivotal experience where I was living in Fiji and it was really like, I want to do something that helps the world, helps humanity. It's very human facing. And I came across a bridge. Hmm. And something so simple as a pedestrian bridge didn't even change the life of one person or even one community, but an entire series of communities. So all hmm. of a sudden that bridge allowed people to go to healthcare, allowed kids to go to school. And I was like, okay, well, engineering is the, the kind of the prime sauce to that. So I'm going to go back and uh, do an engineering degree. And you're the CEO of Bridges to Prosperity. You're doing wonderful things. You also star in the movie, a 3D movie, Dream Big, showing at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. What's this adventure all about? Yeah, so a Dream Big film, we are really aspiring to be able to tell the story of how aspirational engineering really is. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to show young kids and people of all ages that to be an engineer is to really help the world. Uh, they traveled with me down to Haiti and helped to demonstrate how important how just wonderful. simple public works can be in helping the world. That's so crazy. At such a young age, you have accomplished so much. Thanks. And you're right. I mean, to every little girl and boy out there, dream big. Look what can happen. It's wonderful. Being part of this film, what message do you want to send to those watching? I would hope that everyone that comes to see the film realizes that engineering is a very approachable uh, field, STEM in general, and you can't be what you can't see. Mm -hmm. And so for those of us that grew up and had role models that were engineers, I think we're quite privileged, but so many people don't have access to those role models. And if this film could get into the hearts and minds of young kids and help them understand that a really exciting career could be in the STEM fields, uh, we really you know, achieved our big dreams. How did you start? Where did you go to get this all happening? Um, I was called, and I think the work that Bridges to Prosperity does uh, has garnered a lot of attention for the organization and myself personally, and the American Society of Civil Engineers, which was a major part of the film, called us up and said, hey, we'd love to tell the story of Bridges to Prosperity as part of this film. And of course, you're like, heck yeah, let's yeah. do that. Who wouldn't want to be part of the 80-foot <laughs> IMAX film, right? That's awesome. Yeah. Me? Because I'm like 20 <laughs> years older than you? No, It'd no. show every wrinkle on me? <laughs> I like to keep it all small and little. Talk about the countries that are partnering with your programs. Yeah, we work all over the world. So we're in Rwanda and Uganda. We have staff living and working in Bolivia, Nicaragua, Panama, obviously Haiti. Um, and we've done work in pretty much every corner that you can imagine. You said you don't change just one person's life or a few person's life. There are plenty, millions of people. What has the response been like so far? So far we've been really positively received. I think that once people see how important a footbridge can be, they really jump on and understand that this is something so simple as a bridge can change the lives of so many. Yeah, it's crazy effect. to think about that. And like I said, you know, you're so accomplished at such a young age, but I'm sure there were plenty of obstacles in your way. What kind of obstacles and then how did you learn from them? Um, I believe in failing often and failing fast. Really? So when you, you, know, you figure out things that you could improve upon or a mistake made, instead of just looking back and uh, you know, shuffling that under the carpet, how can we learn from that? And how mm -hmm. can we use that to do the next thing better? And, really and it makes you that. stronger. You don't want to give up. A lot of people will be like, oh gosh, I lost, I can't do it, I'd give up. But it made you stronger to help change the world. I try. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. And the response so far, everyone's been so happy and thankful for what you've done. Yeah, and, and the response to the film has been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. We're really aspiring to get into the hearts and minds of kids that may not have access to these role models. And um, I had the opportunity to see the opening out in LA and in New York and DC, and now here in Denver tonight. Um, and it's just been wonderful to see the rumblings through the crowd of all the kids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you know, the gasps as the, uh, the space station is moving around and just imagining IMAX. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we gotta phenomenal. go check it out. It's at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, right? It is, yep. You should go check that out. You can find out more by dmns.org or you can find out more about Bridge to, um, Bridge, I'm sorry, is it Bridge to Prosperity? And you can go to bridge to prosperity.org at their website. Talk more about your foundation. Yeah, so we're a charitable nonprofit, uh, Bridges to Prosperity, and we are solely focused on pedestrian footbridges. Okay. And we really think that it's important to be able to work with communities all over the world. We train locals. 
so local engineers, local contractors, local labor, to build bridges without us. Very interesting. So it can just keep going on in the future. Exactly. Very nice. Bridges to prosperity.org. Did I get that right? Okay. Got it. <laughs> Showing at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, Dream Big 3D Engineering Our World. You can catch the film right now through April. For tickets and for more information, go to this website, dmns.org. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the amazing work being done by Avery Bang and her team all over the world, then you need to visit this website. It's bridges to prosperity.org.